Expensive housing is nothing new in Massachusetts. It does now seem that one of the major goals of the American dream, the ability of families young and old to own their own home, is seriously endangered by the continuing rise of housing costs. We're looking for the next half hour at the varieties of housing experience in and around Boston 1985. Local housing advocates have long warned that Massachusetts needs more development to meet the demands of first-time home buyers. What's changed is how expensive housing has become not just in high-end suburbs, but also in communities once considered affordable. Right next to Logan Airport in East Boston, since 2011, the price of a single-family home skyrocketed 226%. The only neighborhood that I really, really know is East Boston. I think in a lot of things like, oh, would I will be able to move to another place? Would I will be able to afford a higher rent? Like, would I be able to put food on my table? And it's not just Boston. Across the region and in every direction, homes in working class neighborhoods are increasingly out of reach. To the north, in Lynn, single family home values went up 157% since 2011. To the south, in Brockton, they're up 155%. And to the west, in Worcester, home values have risen 117 percent. Oh, the prices are outrageous. And so it just squeezes me right out, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do next. That's going to be my next mission, to find out how I'm going to handle all this. Census data shows that across Massachusetts, about a quarter of all renters are paying half their income or more on rent. Communities that have traditionally and historically been more affordable uh, and are largely communities of color, these are communities where the pressures are even more significant right now. So what's driving up the high cost of housing? There's just not enough of it. It wasn't always this way. Massachusetts built twice as much housing in the 1980s as it does now. And back then, more of it was for first time home buyers. Now, with demand so high, land itself costs more. So what gets built is largely aimed at people who can afford to pay more for luxury homes, condos, and apartments. By some estimates, Massachusetts needs 200,000 new units in the next eight years just to keep housing prices from continuing to climb. But advocates argue creating enough housing for everyone means more communities, including suburban ones, need to build more housing. We have communities in the greater Boston region that have a lot of multifamily housing, and then the majority of communities are essentially closed to multifamily construction. They just won't let apartments in. Even as a growing number of people are priced out.